I'm gonna take this. Uh, I'm having a bit. <laughs> Just, you know, guessing. It ripped. Hey, <laughs> the fucking Gragas. <laughs> Woo! You see it. Oh, wow, Kev. Oh, this might be. Fuck. I ignited the wrong person on accident. Who cares? Well, Who that cares? Happened. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yep. Yep. The slow, which is just broken, stupid good on Kale. If you've actually tried playing Rylai's Kale, you know what I'm talking about. You're gonna see it now, and it is pretty disgusting. Okay. That's the entire enemy team. That's Rylos on, on Kale, baby. Holy cow. I just kited five people with that. No! Now, I have calculated it myself, and right now the state of Righteous Fury is that you need, I believe it is, 28.5% cooldown reduction for permanent uptime. Now, for Season 8, that basically just translates to 30%, because everything has been rounded up and rounded down. So, right now, all you need for permanent Righteous Fury is 30% CDR, which means, thank God, you can now go Transcendence and buy a Nasher's Tooth, and then you're good to go. Actually, I'm gonna try to take this red buff because I, I just saw Lee Sin in River. So he might actually be at the red buff, so I just want to check it, just to make sure that he's not taking it. Okay, he is taking it. Cool. Good to know. Holy f- <laughs> we got him. Uh, hello there. Welcome to your uh, VOD review slash coaching session, if you will. But you can see, even in this situation, you should just be killing the Urgot. He has no mana, which means he can't do anything. He has less than half HP, and he's down on items in comparison to you. And again, you should be collapsing. Let's look at this. If you... Imagine if you were where the Urgot is right now. at the same time making sure that I won't die to a Shivana gank. He goes into me, and he really, really wants to take that fight. I'm kiting him into my minions, though. So that means he's gonna take a ton of damage from that because he actually overextended. At this point, I'm kind of like, okay, why did he go into me like that? If Shivana's not here, it makes no sense. Um, but he does something really smart, actually, by going too far in. He actually baits me to think that he's just being stupid. And because of that bait, bam. You see that? So that was Galio playing a really, really good mind game on me. So he wins the mind game and I'm forced to flash away. We should just get this. Ekram's up. Yeah, Drake, bro. <laughs> Fuck me, you man. You fucking animal. <laughs> 1v3, baby. You should take that blue buff. I already okay. have. Though, to be honest, that being said, I've got Essence Reaver now. I'm not sure I need it. I'll just take it then. Yeah. Oh, we can stop them. 3v5, though.
Okay, that was stupid of me. <laughs> Pentakill. Uh, we need to wait for J4. That's... That's a uh, pretty much perfect play by our whole team. Yeah, that was really well played. Jarvan went total beast mode and just tanked their whole uh, backline while I was uh, ulting him. You will see more teams throw and fail and kill themselves at the Infernal Drake than they will at any other Drake, okay? People overestimate the power of the Infernal Drake so much and they will make so many mistakes around this drag. I mean, the way my teammates are positioning right here and considering the score is 9 to 1 just signals to me that my team is not struggling. I'm also not seeing the Shivana anywhere, anywhere so I don't actually know if the Shivana is top side and if Shivan is coming for me or if she's down there helping the enemy team which means instead of teleporting down I'm gonna keep punishing the fact that Galio is out of lane until I get some more information or until I see that my teammates are actually struggling so basically I just keep looking at it keep looking at it keep looking at it keep looking at it I'm asking myself should I teleport in or should I just keep auto attacking the turret and as you can see I just kept auto attacking the turret you can just see that Without getting any kills, I have basically destroyed the Galio, and his entire presence in the game is irrelevant. Not a lie. That's true. It came up right as he died. I was watching it. I know what I'm saying. Yeah, I know you're right, but there's no point just infuriating this fuckhead even more. Just let him think what he wants. So that's the way you build Kale right now, or I build Kale. This is the best, most powerful way to do it. Um, if you are sort of the average person, although I do have kind of a a little uh, secret build at the bottom that I've discovered that I have not seen anyone else do, I guess I'm I guess I'm gonna show it to you. Let's let's let the cat out of the bag. Between the attack speed and the on hit damage you get out of Righteous Fury, Nasher's Tooth, and Rage Blade, and the pure insane burst damage you get from Static Shiv and Infinity Edge. If you're trying to 1v1 a squishy champion, you will two-shot people. It's actually hilarious. Joy 4 is tough. Hello! I'm dead. Nice. Fucking Good shit. flash, man. Thank you. Jinx should be dead. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? It sounded like a foghorn. That sounded like a ship. Was that you? No, that was you. Wasn't me. Oh, that was me, but I was imitating a sound coming from, from yours. Oh. That's what happened. Yeah, it was me. I thought you were actually talking about the sound I was imitating and not me. Dragon spawning. Gosh. Talon almost dead, he ulted. They're gonna flaps on you, I think. Actually, no, we're flapsing on them. I'm trying to kill Jarvan here. I can't see shit. 
We need to go and jinx. Yeah. Nice. I'm gonna go on the other side and try to get him away from the pit. Got him. Nice. God, it deals so much damage. Mmm. Uh, Alan's still dead. I'm not afraid. <laughs> Me neither, then. Dude. Holy shit, we hard carried this. Yeah. Get fucking kale nailed. Did you see me flash that? <laughs> yes! 